What is going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming at you yet another video and today we are busting more 2019-20 Panini Chronicles NBA. I have three blaster boxes today, I have three blaster boxes for another video and then we'll see if we decide to do any more. I would still like to bring some mega boxes on the channel, those were the only configuration I was not able to find at retail. I will look for you. I will find you. Uh, so I may have to unfortunately pay those incredible eBay markups that we've been seeing, um, seeing those at like over $200, but I do want to bring a couple on the channel. So we've got that in the pipeline, but today we're going to be doing three of the blaster boxes. They have been pretty good to us so far. A lot of good hits coming out of them. I believe our only rookie jersey auto came out of them way back in my first look video. Um, so I like the blasters. I do think that the hanger boxes themselves are probably the best configuration that we've opened by far, but Without further ado, uh, I've talked a lot about this product, 699 card base set, so we're going to see a lot of Zion, a lot of Jaw, a lot of those guys, um, base foil board and chromes, the chromes are the most premium of uh, the cards that you can find in here, usually in blaster boxes you find one to two, um, you also find a usually about a foil board per pack, um, so the base cards, those are going to be the ones that are more mass produced. Um, the Zions and Jaws are kind of trending downward in the market right now just because of how many there are. There are a couple really cool ones like the Luminance uh, Jaw where he's doing a crazy dunk. Uh, that one caught on very quickly with collectors who wanted one of those. Uh, the parallels for that are still doing very, very well. But really the foil boards, the Prism Update, for example, that is a crazy popular set because it has Anthony Davis's first Lakers. Kawhi first Clippers, uh, and then the one I think a lot of people are sleeping on, which is Durant first Brooklyn and Nets. So we got three blaster boxes, and um, before we get started, I do want to address a couple of comments that I saw over the last few videos, the last couple of videos rather, and that was uh, that I wasn't really excited for this product. <laughs> I gotta say, I am very excited for this product. So you may have noticed, like, not as boisterous in my voice, I'm not projecting as much, and that's just because I want to create a more chill environment. You know, I know a lot of people watch my videos in the morning, in the evening, and uh, I can get loud, I have a big voice, and so I've really just been kind of working on being a little bit more chill, uh, and just kind of providing more information, and just toning the excitement down from like 9 down to maybe like a 7 or a 6. You need to calm down. Um, so, absolutely excited to bust Chronicles, and uh... Yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into it, and we're going to set these off to the side because I do want nice little space to sort, and uh, I'll show you guys how I sort Chronicles. If you watch any of my videos, you kind of know that I split up everything into three piles. Blake. That's pretty cool. I don't think we've seen that. That's the Rookies and Stars. That The Rookies and Stars is going to be the Blaster exclusive of LeBron. And then also the pink foil boards are going to be exclusive to the blasters only. So here's going to be my pile for base. We got a Recon and a Terrence Davis Raptors. And that Terrence Davis S Essentials is going to be a pink parallel. So exclusive to the blasters. So when I talk about the value of these cards, like I said, the base cards are going to be the ones probably that will go down the furthest and then the foil boards and um you know chromes will dip a little bit too as more people are busting this product um but if you look at the prices for 2018-19 there is a pink parallel jimmy butler if you look at the prices for some of the top players from 2018-19 it's kind of the exact same pattern they dip down and now they are where they are most trays most of like the paper trey young rookies are between like 10 and 15 dollars so that's where I would expect this one to land as well. And then you get into some of the foil boards and the Opticrons. And those can go for, you know, if you look at the 18, 19 numbers, uh, those can go for quite a bit. We have an auto in here? I do think we have an auto. I think we have an auto or a numbered or something, but rookie and Sarah Seku, Tyler. We got Darius Garland foil board. Another Tyler, and this is a Jerry West auto. We have a Jerry West auto from playoff. Uh, Non-numbered, but uh, a Jerry West. I have not hit a player. I have not hit a Hall of Famer like that in a while. I think the last time I hit a Hall of Famer, a big Hall of Famer, is probably my Oscar Robertson from Mosaic. 
So that was pretty surprising. That's pretty awesome, actually, because we've seen... This is our third auto that we've seen so far out of, out of Chronicles. And, um, yeah, that's a really good one. And it's a really sharp-looking card, too. I don't think Jerry West gets the love he deserves. In the hobby, anyways. It's a good-looking go. card. That's a very good-looking card. And that one kind of caught me off guard. But uh, it's a good start right there. Nice Jerry West auto. And I still have not seen either of our chromes. I think we should get about two, so maybe something nice as well. But I'm, I'm super satisfied with that auto. LeBron Luminous Pink. Luminance. Excuse me. I know I say that wrong. Did I stutter? That's pretty good as well. And a Jarrett Culver foil board marquee. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Chronicles. I was thrown off by the name there because, um, you know, everything in here is, is modern superstars and rookies. You don't see a lot of, you know, there's no uh, veterans or, or retired veterans or Hall of Famers in the um, base set. So I was a little surprised by that name, but it's very cool. Rookies and stars, none. Zion, and that's going to be an Essentials. And a Goga Patasi Pink. But unfortunately... Yeah, this Zion has, show you guys, has just like a weird kind of printer line running through it, which is weird because foil boards typically don't have printer lines, but that is unfortunate. But either way, I think we're still way up in this blaster with uh, Jerry West Auto for sure. Kyrie, we have a Giannis Threads Pink. Goga. A lot of Goga, this blaster. A whole lot of Goga. And an Eric Pascal. And again, more issues. We got over there by the line. You can kind of see it run right there. Um, yeah, so a couple foil boards with some issues. And we've seen that in this product. We have seen, you know, some corner dings with fat packs. We've just seen, like, uh, the quality control typically isn't up to... Is it a prism? Nope. It's a hometown hero. So, I thought we had a prism update, but hometown heroes. Gonna be RJ. That's an interesting slot. Usually, it's not in slot number two. So, hometown heroes, RJ. Terrence Davis, rookies and stars. Jaw, and that is super unfortunate because it's a jaw recon. So both our jaws and Zions had that like printer line. No, God, please, no, no. I don't know if this is worth reaching out to Panini over, but all of our foil boards, and I'm, I'm going to go back and look at the other foil boards, but that's really frustrating when two of your foil boards, two big name foil boards each have issues. So... See if all of these. Nope, this one looks clean. Like, fortunately, our like Goga Batatsis are clean, but our Zions and Jaws are not. So, got one pack left here in Blaster Number One, and uh, hopefully, there's something in here won't have a surface issue. We got Pink Brandon Clark, Carson Edwards, and. Tremont Waters and that one again another issue so um, not something that I would probably reach out to Panini for unfortunately um, but definitely something that's you know it's frustrating when that happens especially when it's not just like one card that has a ding it's a run of several cards that have a ding that's the first time I've seen that with a blaster where every foil board had an issue or rather some of the well, not every foil board but the big ones all had issues that's super unfortunate PJ Pink, Jordan McLaughlin, and he didn't have too many rookies this year, so if he ever comes on strong, that'll be one to hold. Romeo Langford and Goga Batazzi, or Ingus Brazikis, excuse me, on the foil board marquee. This one is super thick, holy crap. So that might be one of those rookies and stars jersey autographs. I believe it's called Dressed for Success. But it definitely feels like a Jersey Auto in there. So we will save that for the last pack. Kemba. That's going to be a good one right there. Terrence Davis rated rookie pink. So there are only five rated rookies in this particular subset. Terrence Davis and Kendrick Nunn are the two big ones. 
that's nice. So this is a base card that will, this is a non-foil base card that will hold its value because it does have that pink parallel. So there are going to be far less of these floating around than say just a regular one because this is a blaster exclusive. We got Grant Williams, Zion Williamson from Panini, and Kevin Porter Jr. foil board, and that foil board looks clean, thankfully. We got Embiid, PJ, Kobe White, XR, thankfully these are clean. I love XR. XR and Recon both look really, really good. Um, I think I like Recon a little bit more, but the XRs are super sharp as well. And there's a very good one. And uh, that one is super clean too. And that's a Zion Williamson Essentials Pink. So so again, it's from that foil board. Foil boards are kind of like the second level. You can almost think of it as levels one, two, and three. Base being level one, foil boards are going to be level two, and pinks are going to be, or chromes are going to be number three, kind of the most valuables. But this is going to be a blaster exclusive, so there are not going to be as many of these floating around as there are going to be just the regular essential Zion. And that is awesome. But this blaster is shaping up to be great because I don't think we've seen, we haven't seen our chromes yet, and uh, we have a super thick pack, and we've already hit a Zion, so a good Zion rather. Got a pink Ben Simmons, James Harden, Anthony Davis, and our foil board going to be DeAndre Hunter from Essentials. It does look like we have something interesting in here. Is this going to be a flux? Maybe I believe it's going to be a flux. Lux gonna be LeBron James, and that's a silver. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! That's not just a flux, that is a silver flux. LeBron James. Yep, silver flux LeBron James. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. LeBron silver flux. That's an awesome card. Have not seen too many silver chromes come through, so I think this might be like our second one. And for it to be a silver LeBron flux, that's kind of a monster. That is awesome. Jackson Hayes and Cam Johnson going to round out that pack. And uh, we still got three packs to go, including a super thick pack. So this blaster, on pace to be our best blaster that we've seen. We saw a pretty crazy hanger box too, but this blasters so far, uh, this one definitely makes up for the last one, having those issues with the foil boards. Giannis and Pascal. Loving. RJ Barrett Recon and an Eric Pascal Marquis Pink. All right, this pack super thick, so I'm excited. Probably, there, unless it's a, a decoy, there's very likely a rookie or a jersey auto in here, and this one is fairly thick, so we will grab the cards behind it and see what we can find. Kendrick Nunn. Anthony Davis, Essentials Foil Board. Julius Randle, Tyler Hero. Bargnani Auto from that Dress for Success set that I talked about. Um, so I believe, I can't remember who our first player was. I know we hit a Deshaun Stevenson Airborne Auto, but Bargnani kind of, you know, I actually like Bargnani a lot. I remember um really liking him really thinking uh he was going to be a great player and i believe he had a pretty good career but can't recall if he's still in the league or not i know he's still pretty young but i do not have a sleep for that so we will set that there and we will move on to blaster number three you know two autos so two blasters two autos both the jerry west and now the bargnani 
You know, we'll see what we can find here in this final blaster, but I'm already super, super happy with what we found so far. Langford, Pascal, Kobe White, Luminance, and Tyler Hero, Marquis. Again, this video running a little bit long. My apologies for that. Thought we'd be able to get through three blasters in about 18 minutes or so, but we might go a little, little over that. I think we have a... Oh, my God. We have a third auto? I think we have a third auto. So three blasters, three autos. That's a crazy clip. Pascal on the recon. Tatum. Jaw threads. Auto is going to be Wiggins, and that's going to be from the Airborne set. So, three blasters, three autos. Today, Today I, consider I consider myself the luckiest, the luckiest man, man on the face, on of, the face earth. of the earth. And that's, uh, results vary, but I would not expect to pull, you know, I think we pulled one, one auto out of, I think we may have done three other blasters on the channel or so, so... Three autos. How about that? Let me, let me grab the uh, Jerry West. The Bargnani. That was cr that was crazy right there. Obviously, the West going to be the best of the bunch, but there's that Stevenson, or sorry, the uh, Bargnani auto. Wiggins and Jerry West. So three autos, and we still have some packs left, so maybe we'll find a, a crazy good chrome or something like that out of this last blaster. Devontae Graham, player I really like. Hunter Green, Luca, Giannis, and foil board going to be Keldon Johnson. This pack does not want to open. Seco, Levine, Pascal. Luka Doncic Essentials and Nazir Little and that's going to be a pink foil board. I try to open them like that because I don't want to see what the foil boards are on the back. I like it to be a nice reveal. Pink Giannis. Rookies and Stars LeBron. Kelden. James Harden from Marquis. That one feels thicker so we will Save those for last because the bottom one also felt thicker. So maybe two Opticrons in there. We got Hayes, Goga Pink, Seco, Jaw, and that is going to be from Playbook. And then Brandon Clark, his teammate, and that's going to be from Essential. All right, two packs left. Uh, I feel like we've kind of crushed this break with the LeBron Flux and the three autos and. I believe we have the Zion and Jaw as well. There's another Zion from Prestige. DeMar DeRozan. DeAndre Hunter. And I believe Eric Pascal, Pink XR. All right. Final pack. So there is going to be a, I believe that's Hometown Heroes maybe. LeBron. Nope. Flux. Flux going to be Hashimura. I like the look of the Flux cards. They're just super, super clean and interesting design to chrome, you know, with the kind of color patterns. So I dig it. LeBron. And going to end with a Jackson Hayes, but overall, I think we kind of crushed this break. We have a pink Zion Essentials, a silver LeBron Flux, and then three autos as well. Just a nice little stack of things, but... Jerry West Auto, did not expect to find a Jerry West Auto in uh, Chronicles. Wiggins and Bargnani as well. So a couple Zion and Jaw as well with a, um, you know, not with those printer lines. But overall, that was a monster break in my opinion. And uh, that is going to do it. We'll get out of here. Uh, take care, stay safe, and we will catch it next time on Down the Road with more Chronicles coming up on the channel.